If you have been watching this channel for a while, you probably already know what a horrible student I have been in school. I wasn't only getting bad grades, but I hated education in general. I'm not sure why, but surprisingly I have viewed books as the most useless and boring things out there. Of course, my parents always advised me to read book in my free time if I want to have a good future, but unfortunately it didn't work out. The idea that uh, one day I will be uh, advising others uh, to read books uh, would never cross my mind. And I am not the only one who likes to that, because judging by uh, our modern education systems, it's absolutely normal to develop this uh, ha hatred towards books. But once upon a time, I was feeling pretty depressed, I kind of hated my life, everything was going the wrong directions. And I was uh, this kind of the kid who never shared anything with his parents. So I kept everything within myself and uh, that made me extremely anxious. Fortunately, there was these books in my houses that caught my attention. It's called uh, Seven Habits of the Highly Effective People. I am not sure how exactly it ended up in my houses, but so I had nothing else to do. I grabbed it and simply started turning uh, the page without even looking uh, at the author's names. I came across the charter Be uh, Proactive. But uh, the author started uh, talking about two different kind of people. Once, uh, one is uh, reactive, who constantly complains about everything. They are focused on the thing that they cannot control, like the people around them, the systems, the government, everything uh, that uh, you can complain, but can control all. Uh, on the other hand, they are another kind of the people who are proactive. They do not deny the fact that it's difficult to deal with certain people or the fact that the educational system is uh, outdated. But uh, there is nothing they can do about it. That's why they only focus on the things that they can control. If they are constantly having relationships problems, instead of uh, blaming the other persons, uh, they will ask the questions. What can I do to improve these relationships? What is under my control? Well, I can work uh, on improving my social skills or learn how to react on insult, for example. That's when I realized that the problem wasn't in my school or the people around me. I simply was focusing on the wrong things all this time. I wasn't asking the right questions. As uh, a little teenager, I didn't really understand much about life uh, then, but uh, these simple lessons completely turned out my life and literally made it a uh, hundred times better. And since then, I have never stopped at, uh, reading books. You will start reading books uh, only when you realize that uh, it has significant positive impacts on your life. So if you have uh, picked up some wrong books uh, in the past and you already developed the negative uh, perceptions about books, take my advice and give it another try and uh, read something that's uh, worth reading. And uh, you will not regret it. Unfortunately, there is a widespread uh, misconceptions about books. We are taught that uh, the more books uh, we read, the better it is. That's why we try to read more and fast. However, it's not always the best options. Reading books is like the eating. Uh, you do not try to eat more and fast because you will not uh, digest it properly. And it could lead uh, to a very negative consequences. This is why it's important uh, to cure the food completely before you shallow it. If you simply skim through the pages of the books, uh, you will not get a real value of the books. And you will certainly think that books is useless. That's exactly what happening uh, with the school systems. Every single day we are taught a bunch of the new facts about everything, but no one really knows uh, how we are going to use that in the real life. 
we spent a countless numbers of the hours memorizing them so that uh, we can write them on a piece of paper, but we cannot certainly remember them in a few days. Hence, uh, focus on the consuming uh, less information but more valuable. I will uh, leave the link below to my favorite books. Uh, trust me, after reading them, you will completely shift your uh, perspective about books. In fact, there is a big difference between the reading books, uh, understanding the books, and finally implement it. I read some books a couple of the times, uh, like The Fifties Loved by Robert Greene, uh, because each time when I read it, uh, surprisingly, I come across something absolutely new, what I haven't noticed before. Uh, try to read available books a couple of times and uh, you will be amazed by how much value you have been missing. Of course, there are a lot of the useless books uh, as well, but uh, this doesn't mean that you don't have to read the good ones. All, that, uh, all what you need to do is to search for the right books first and uh, who knows you might find yourself suggesting uh, others to read books like i am suggesting to, to you now in case if you are extremely busy and you absolutely don't have the time to read books then at least listen to audiobooks and the best place uh, to audiobooks uh, is Audible which links uh, you can find in the descriptions you can try it for free and now it's your turn what uh, was the uh, last book you have read let me know in the comments below as always hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video and if you don't want to miss the next video hit that subscribe button and the bell besides thanks for watching i see you guys in the next one